Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today is going to be kind of a little different video. I wanted to take some time to talk about some things and some products that I just regret purchasing. Yeah. So this isn't anything particularly bad on the products themselves. I know a lot of people who love these particular products. They are just products that I personally regret buying because I just don't use them or I don't like them. They don't work well with me. Yada, yada, yada. So, all right. First thing first, I know that I'm going to get so much, like, backlash for this particular thing, but I'm going to say it anyway. MAC lipstick. I do not like MAC lipstick. It doesn't stay well on me. I, I just, I'm not a big MAC fan in general, and I bought this years and years and years ago. Um, before I started looking into products that were more cruelty free and yada yada yada. Uh, it is just a product that I don't, I don't like. I know. I know so many people who absolutely love MAC lipstick. That's the only thing they buy from MAC. They love it, blah blah blah. I don't. I don't like it at all and I totally regret purchasing it. And I can't even pawn this color off on anyone because no one wants it. All right, next thing that I regret buying, and I don't, I don't want to say this, I really don't, but the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. It's not waterproof, and I prefer all of my makeup to be waterproof because my eyes leak a lot, like I, my eyes just water a lot. And if they aren't, if a product isn't waterproof, it'll like smudge really easily for me. So with that being said, I just, I'm really sad that I bought this. And like, since it's an eye product, um, I can't give it to anyone because I don't want to get, you know, I don't want to give anyone anything and I don't like sharing eye products in general. I love ink liner. It's amazing. It's one of my go-to products for eyeliner. It's wonderful. It's waterproof. I just... I don't like this particular one and I feel bad saying that because everyone's like OMG tattoo liner is the best and it's like mm, but it's not at least not for me I don't really like it that much so all right next thing is the ColourPop ultra matte lips from the very first launch when they launched all of their uh, matte lipsticks I was like the first person in line to get the bajillion of them I love ColourPop. Love ColourPop. I have so many ColourPop lipsticks. Like, I have the lippy sticks. I have other matte lipsticks from them. I have now the glosses. And I just, I wish I would have waited until, like, more people that I, like, know and watch and trust their reviews on. I wish I would have waited until they said, like, you know their reviews on it because I have like six colors that just don't work very well they crumble and this is really only the very very first launch after that they reformulated and they're amazing and I love them but the first launch was not good and I have so many colors that are beautiful that I just don't use because they're not they're not the quality just isn't there they're not very great so that's another one. All right, going on to another lipstick is the Melted Chocolate. This one is Chocolate Honey, and the color online looked so beautiful, and I was like, oh, that's so cool, a chocolate lipstick. Oh, it's going to smell like chocolate, and the color's going to be a nice, rich, warm, like, brown. It's going to be great, and this one isn't. It's not. The pigment is not very there. Like, I love melted lipsticks. I, Melted Chihuahua is probably one of my most, like, used go-to colors. It's beautiful. I love their formula. But there's something about the Melted Chocolate, at least in this color, or maybe I have a bad batch, that just is not good. It's very watery. The color just isn't there. I mean, it smells great, and I still use this. I do, but I use it as a gloss, not an actual lipstick. It's just something about this I don't like. And I wish that I liked it more. Maybe I have a bad one. If I have a bad one, let me know. Because I'll just buy another. But I wanted to like this so bad. And it just... It let me down. 
It did. All right. Another one is kind of like a cult favorite. Uh, well, it was. I don't. I don't know if it is anymore. I bought it in the, like the hype when everyone was talking about how great it was. It's not very great. The Nivea uh, aftershave balm and sensitive. I don't like this. I tried so long to like this as a primer. Like I have used a good third of the bottle trying to get myself to like this product because everyone's like, oh my gosh, it's the best primer in the whole world. It's amazing. And I was like, this don't do shit for me. It doesn't keep my makeup on. Uh, my skin feels weird. It doesn't, it's not drying. Like the, there's no alcohol in it, so it doesn't dry. But like, <laughs> there's nothing I like in that product at all. But it still sits on my vanity because I don't know, reasons, it sits for reasons. All right, the next one, I am very, very sad to say this. Very, very sad to say this because this is one of my most favorite things. I just never use it. I've used it probably twice, maybe. And it's the Alice Through the Looking Glass Urban Decay Palette. When the first Alice in Wonderland movie went out, I think it was my sophomore year of college, I think, and my friend bought it and I was like, oh my gosh, I want that. And I loved it and it was my first intro into like high end, well I shouldn't say high end, it was my first intro into like legitimate makeup products. Like Urban Decay was the first brand that I ever used and I loved this palette. I searched everywhere for it and I could never find that particular palette because it just sold out immediately. So when they launched a second one for the, the like new movie that just came out, I was like, I'm going to be the first one to buy this. I'm so excited. This is going to be the greatest thing in the whole wide world. And it's beautiful, don't get me wrong. This is gorgeous, it's like a little mirror. And then it opens up and it's a little butterfly. See, he kind of see the mess on my desk, lovely. And the colors themselves are beautiful. They're very pretty colors. But I just, I don't find myself reaching for this palette ever. And I feel guilty with that. Like, there are colors in this palette that are beautiful, that are absolutely stunning, that I love. I've swatched all of them. They're great. But I don't know. There's something about this. There's something about this palette that I just, I don't go to. And I wish that I liked it more because it's beautiful. The packaging is stunning. Everyone knows that. I love love when packaging on a product is beautiful it draws me in it makes me want, want like it makes me want the product that much more but i just i don't use this often and i can't get rid of it i can't like i can't bring myself to like i didn't want to return it i couldn't bring myself to return it i can't bring myself to give it to anyone or sell it to anyone or anything like it just sits here because i don't know i guess it was kind of my like my purchase to myself to say that like I made it I guess it was something that I oh like I always wanted the original I always I still want the original I still want that one um but this one was kind of like a I don't know I could afford to buy it and I didn't have to like care about spending the money so I just got it and I just I kind of regret that choice which makes me sad because it's beautiful. I just, they don't use it very often. I use my Natasha Chinona palette or my Morphe ones way more often. I use those ones all the time. Almost every single day I use those. So maybe I just need to play around with this particular one more, but whatever. I just wanted to do a little video on some things that I personally regret. Uh, what is your biggest like makeup purchase regret? Do you have a foundation that everyone loved and you just hated a mascara? Um, I don't know, an eyeliner, a lipstick, something. Tell me what is your, like, what's one of your biggest regrets for purchasing products that you either bought, like, in a hype or yada, 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 anything. Let me know that I'm not crazy and alone and all of that good stuff. 
But that's it. I just wanted to do a quick video because I haven't done any in a long time because I've been in Chicago and I get I got back and I was tired and I didn't want to do anything. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get back and through the rhythm of doing more stuff. I have some other stuff that I want to talk about and all that good stuff. So deuces.